if an investor was to want to retire off of just one single stock, this single stock is going to need multiple different traits in order to live completely long term, free and clear off the dividends. Now, first, for starters, investors are going to need to find a stock that pays a decent starting yield. And although there's so many other great lower starting yield dividend growth stocks on the market, for investors that are looking to live off their dividends at a faster rate and don't want to wait around years and years until the yield on cost gets higher, they are going to need to find a stock that has a nice, higher than average starting yield that also has a history of paying higher and higher dividends over time. Now, the next thing that this stock is going to need to have is capital appreciation. Now, this means that you're going to need to find a single stock that has historically been rising in price consistently over time, making investors' overall investment much, much higher as the years go on. Now, the capital appreciation is going to be helpful if and when this investor wants to sell off a part of their portfolio, maybe later on in life, to buy something or maybe even invest in something different. Now, maybe one of the last things that an investor is is going to need to really want to make sure that this single stock has. If they want to live off this single stock's dividends free and clear, this single stock is going to need to have a high amount of dividend safety and a good business model that will be around for a very, very long time. Now make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because we're going to go over a stock that I think crosses off all this on the list and even more. Now, like I said, we're going to be going over all this and more. Right after you, please drop a like in this video and subscribe for more future content like this. So the single stock we're talking about and a stock that I think would be a great candidate for an investor that wants to live free and clear off dividend income as soon as possible, but still wants dividend safety, capital appreciation, and all the rest is going to be ticker symbol O, Realty Income Corporation. Now to dig a little bit deeper into Realty Income, they got their start back in 1969 with a single investment in a Taco Bell. And now today this REIT owns over thousands of properties across America that are leased to hundreds of tenants operating in dozens of industries. Rental properties account for most of Realty Income's rental revenue, with industrial warehouses generating almost all the remainder. Now, all of Realty Income's properties are under triple net lease agreements, which is nice because with triple lease agreements, it shifts property operating expenses, things like maintenance, utilities, and taxes to the tenants. So the owner doesn't really need to worry about those expenses. Now, something that's very impressive when it comes to Realty Income is that they have paid an uninterrupted dividend since the firm's founding and has increased its dividend every single year since going public back in 1994. And on top of that, Realty Income, compared to the other REIT aristocrats in its class, has a slightly better credit rating, higher yielding dividend, especially because Realty Income stock price has been beat up a lot as of recently. And on top of that, Realty Income has just about the same or similar growth projections to any of the other high quality REITs in its class. Now, Realty Income has paid uninterrupted dividends since the firm's founding and has increased dividends each year since going public back in 1994, making Realty Income an obvious dividend aristocrat. And overall, Realty Income's predictable cash flow, strong balance sheet, disciplined approach to acquiring properties, portfolio diversification, and access to low-cost capital historically makes the firm's dividend among the safest out of any REITs in the market. This amazing monthly paying dividend stock just recently announced yet another dividend increase, which marks its 121st increase since 1994. Now, Realty Income is one of my personal largest holdings throughout my over seven figure dividend portfolio. And this is, of course, for a few reasons. But one of the main reasons being that I love having exposure to high quality real estate that pays cash flow on a monthly basis, also has a history of appreciating as far as investment value. And on top of that, with owning real estate through a REIT like Realty Income, I don't have to do any management myself or really do anything at all besides collect money on a monthly basis. Now, Realty Income has a portfolio of over 12,400 commercial properties that are leased to over 1,250 different cities who operate in more than 84 separate industries. Now, the top industries for Realty Income are what I would call recession-proof industries and a very, very high quality breakdown. The one thing that I don't like when it comes to REITs personally is I don't like to have too much exposure to office buildings because I'm not really sure where the future holds as far as people working in offices. But as you can see, Realty Income is mostly made up of things like grocery stores, convenience stores, dollar stores, home improvement, restaurants, drug stores, health and fitness, automotive, and general merchandise. And as we talked about at the top of the video, these are all companies that are going to be around a lot longer than I am and industries are going to be in demand throughout any economic conditions. To dig a little bit deeper into the client diversification, we have companies like Dollar General, Walgreens, 7-Eleven, Dollar Tree, Wynn Resorts even, BJ's, LA Fitness, FedEx. I mean, these are very, very big companies that have been around for a long time and have continued to pay realty income rent on a monthly basis for many, many years now. 
What's also super impressive about Realty Income is their portfolio occupancy. Now, this is how much their portfolio has actually been full, meaning that the majority of their real estate has always been leased and has been providing cash flow on a monthly basis for them and, of course, for investors like myself. Now, as of recently, the last few years, last few quarters, Realty Income has around a 97.9 to a 99% occupancy, which is way above the industry standard even. But what's crazy is that Realty Income, just about a few weeks after Realty Income hit that low of around $45 per share, Realty Income is almost trading back up towards the mid-level of the 52-week range. Now, Realty Income's most recent low was basically just around what we saw in 2020. And I have to be honest, as a Realty Income shareholder and as Realty Income being the largest single stock position across my entire portfolio, even I got a little bit sweaty there thinking to myself, could Realty Income go below 40? Could Realty Income even see a three in front of it? But with Realty Income trading the way it is trading, it's still offering a massive starting forward dividend yield, which isn't necessarily as massive as it was just a few weeks back, but still a 5.81% forward dividend yield is definitely nice, especially with some scheduled dividend increases hopefully coming very soon. And speaking of dividend increases, it's no secret. If you're watching this video, you probably already know this, but I have to say it just to be fair. Realty Income has been raising their dividends consistently for years and years and years. As you can see here, just around 10 years ago, Realty Income was paying around 18 cents or so on a monthly basis. And now just as of recently, over 25 cents per share per month. And overall, Realty Income doesn't have the fastest growing dividend across the board for all single stocks. It still has been very, very consistent and definitely appreciated, especially when you're buying into something that already has an initial starting dividend yield of well over 5%. So unless there's some sort of massive black swan event or some sort of reason on why Realty Income has another chance to drop from here, I think Realty Income is going to stabilize right where it's at, more or less. And of course, it could drop a little bit more before it goes up. But I think that in the next one or two years, we are going to see Realty Income trading with a six or even a seven or eight in the front of a share price. Now, our last thing on our list, if you will, to make sure that the stock would be a good long-term hold possibly, like I said earlier, is going to be the dividend safety. And on Simply Safe Dividends, Realty Income is an 80 on the safety score, which once again, for a higher starting yield stock, is definitely very, very impressive. So much to the point where if you were to look at the screener on any other stock that has a high starting yield, it's actually quite rare to see an 80 or higher with the high starting yield that Realty Income has. So there we have it, guys. There's a great single stock that investors could definitely look into if they want all the things on the list that we talked about. Things like dividend payouts consistently, dividend safety, dividend growth, and capital appreciation with a business model that's going to last a lot longer than all of us. Realty Income is currently a stock that makes up a huge portion of my portfolio for good reasons. And I want you guys to comment down below if you currently hold on to Realty Income in your portfolio. And also, let us know if you're buying more shares from here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like in the video and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.